Hi, I'm Robert Mushamore, and I'm here at the Cheltenham Book Festival to promote my new book, One Shot Kill. So One Shot Kill is the sixth book in the Henderson's Boys series, and it's all about the kids undergoing sniper training to uh, find one of Hitler's secret weapons in France. I think kids love a bit of gore and uh, blood and stuff in the books, but uh, I wouldn't say that kids love death. Kids really invest very deeply in characters in a way that perhaps adults don't. Uh, kids cry and they get upset when one of their people die, and they hate it if I put if something they don't like happens in the ending of a book. Um, they'll be all over me. Why did you kill him off on the last page? He was my favourite character and stuff like that. Kids really invest and believe in characters in a way that adults don't. I think one of the really nice things about writing series is it gives you that scope, this epic scope to develop a character. For example, the first Cherub series, it takes the James Adams character from when he's a kind of quite an immature, impulsive 11-year-old boy to when he's uh, an 18-year-old and he's a much nicer character at the end of the series. So you really get that chance to develop a character over a million words. I think one of the most important things about being a kids writer is you have to get into the mind of people who are very different from yourself. If I wrote a novel for adults, I'll be writing for me. When you write for kids, you've always got to have this theoretical kid in your head, the person who is actually going to be reading your books, and you have to accept the fact that those people are very different to you. So it's one of the skills a children's writer has to have, is the ability to put yourself in the mind of a child. Uh, the Cherub film has been two years away for the last five years. Um, we're working on it. Um, we've got a good team trying to put a film together. They've got a good script. But uh, we need a director and we need some money. If that happens, then the film will go ahead. So who would you like to direct in the dream world? Who, who's your director? Uh, in the dream world, I reckon Richard Lindlake of the guy who made School of Rock. I think he'd make a really good ch uh, Cherub film. At the moment, I'm working on a new project, which we're not announcing until the end of next year. Right. OK, <laughs> terrific. But something new. Excellent. Something new, something very different, yeah. I think my, fa my favourite thing about bookshops is it just gives you that ability just to go into a space and to wander around and to discover things and to pick books up and to feel them. and. Uh, as much as I love online shopping when I do my research, I find that nothing quite beats going into a bookshop when it comes to discovering new things.